we're meant to be relational and have a friend, I think it's really critical. And I think it's healthy, mentally. <laughs> First time, well, I was able to talk to a, a, a fellow human being um, ever. The more we include through friendships, through social and relational means, through group environments, through settings that support people to talk and feel safe and make themselves available and be able to tell their story, the more we support recovery. I suffer from depression, um, probably way back in 1969, uh, car accident, um, feeling isolated, wasn't able to talk to anyone, I wasn't able to talk. Um, I was going to speech therapist for about four years as a child. I was a very lonely person. Um, I wasn't able to respond to anyone talking to me. Uh, isolated. Anxiety came on and uh, I was fearing the worst. Um, I couldn't go open a window or go out the front door. Could not go to my letterbox. My counsellor suggested that, you know, get you out of the house more often, Robert. Maybe we need to get you um, um, with compare. So for the past um, was it nearly, nearly four years, I've been with Compe. It's got me out of my shell that much. I'm networking with other groups in the Shire. Um, I've got no time for myself now. I'm always busy. I'm more, more happy, more aware, and um, I'm really grateful. I'm really, really grateful. I have never probed Mark about it, but it's interesting that he wanted to tell me about it. And so I let him, him do that. And I learnt a lot about it too, because of that. Um, uh, I'm not frightened about it or anything. I, I have a greater understanding of it now because of our friendship. Um, but also the preparation that Vinnie's did with me gave me some insight into a whole lot, you know, range of mental illnesses too, which I found very useful. <laughs> I think for people who are volunteering for the program, um, it really starts to, I think it really supports people to understand the diverse human experience that is um, mental illness, mental wellness across that continuum. And um, when people come to really understand that, it helps people make sense of their own experiences, um, their own diverse experiences, their own kind of like tricky places that they find themselves in, in relationships, when they lose something that might be precious to them. Um, it, it really is kind of like um, that diverse understanding of wellness illness that allows for people to um, really hold their own space better. We're herd animals at the, at the very base of who we are. Um, we, um, we thrive in relational environments. Um, that is natural to our process as human beings. Um, so it's only when people um, get kind of isolated from that herd environment that they generally struggle. And mental illness and stigma attached to mental illness tends to put people into isolated situations. I had always thought that schizophrenia was like, I don't know, multiple personalities or something like that. Like I was totally off the beam. And from what Mark described to me, it's like hearing voices in your head, people talking to you and over the top of other people and all that sort of thing and, and made it really difficult to, you know, concentrate on anything and all those, you know, that kind of thing. So with his um, health professional, he was able to manage that and uh, 
you know, as far as I'm aware, since I've known him, which is five and a half years, uh, he hasn't had a relapse or anything like that. Being with Compare has brought me out of my shell and I wasn't afraid to talk to anyone about what, what problems and pains were. I was able to talk freely and be open about it and honest and people understand. I've noticed in my own circle of friends how prevalent, and I wasn't before, wasn't aware before, how prevalent mental illness is. You know, every now and then, you know, a friend that I've had for a while will come out, well, earlier I suffered depression or this happened or that happened and I had no idea, you know, because often it's hidden because they, you know, because they're aware of the stigma attached to mental illness and all that sort of thing. For people with a lived experience of mental illness, what works so well is that people with a mental illness can often self-stigmatise um, and kind of go, I'm not worthwhile. And, um, and it's usually because they've, been, they've got the idea from um, stories in the community that they're not worthwhile because they're mentally ill and all of those sorts of things. So stigma, the ordinary operations of stigma. And, but people internalise those things and once, um, once people get into a relationship where they feel valued, it actually is kind of like the antidote to that whole story of stigma and people can step out of those ways um, of understanding themselves as not real valuable into a place where they recognise that they are because this person recognises that and that's how we all learn. So it's not really rocket science. Before I met Peter for the first time, I was very, very nervous, like going on your first date. I was so nervous, I didn't know what to say, what to wear. Do I look all right? I had a look in the mirror, I had a shave. I was really particularly what I was doing. First time, I was really looking at myself. I talked to him, uh, man to man, which I've never done before. And so I wasn't sure it's going to come out right. As someone said to me, you know, if it comes from your heart, it's all, it's all true. If someone's not sure about um, getting involved in Compi, I'd say give it a go. Um, it's much more enriching than you'd realise. It, it, it's a great experience, it's, uh, you learn a lot, um, it opens your mind to a, a, a lot of more, I guess, issues and you meet a lot of interesting people. The old Robert wasn't getting anywhere in life. It, it, it would rather just be stagnant and don't move forward. He was always living in the past, always looking around the corner to see who's after me. I was fearing for my life. Uh, today I can truly say that I don't have to worry about my past or being fearful of anyone. Compere is, to my mind, the future of what we do in mental health. It's the shape of the future because it has that relational, social underpinning at the centre of what occurs within the program. And without that, we're actually not aligning with our ordinary brilliance as human beings.